Hey everyone, I'm Tech Steve, and on today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a USB-C hub. Now, this particular one is a little bit different than the ones you see on the market because it can do power pass-through. To give you guys an example, you could plug your Apple computer into this, and then it allows you to have two USBs and an HDMI output, and this allows you to add your own keyboards, mouse, thumb drives, hard drives, or any type of monitor with an HDMI input. And if you have a Samsung phone with the DeX system, and with this adapter, you'll be able to turn your Samsung phone into a computer, and I'll show you how to do that a little bit later in this video. But before I get started, I wanna thank O-Ray for sending over this product for me to show you guys what it's all about. So sit back and relax, and let's get started. Once you take it out of the box, you get the main hub with a USB that goes over to whatever source you have, computer or smartphone. And it comes with instruction books that goes over all the different technical specs that you can do with it. So with an adapter like this, you can get up to five gigabytes per second transfer rate. So if you have a hard drive hooked up to it or a USB drive, you will not have any kind of slowdown whenever you're transferring your files. Another thing I like about it is the HDMI output does support 4K 60 frames per second, and it does support 4x4x4 four by four by four color space. Now it doesn't support eARC or anything like that, but most computers don't support that as well. And here's a closer look at the connection. You can see you can run this over to your existing USB input on your computer or smart device. You're gonna plug in the power supply right into this port. Then these are your two USB 3s, and you have that 4K HDMI output. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to hook it up. So for this demonstration, I have a HDMI cable wired up to this monitor right here. I also have a keyboard and mouse that uses a USB dongle. I have a memory card that has some files on it, so that's gonna work as well. And we're gonna be using this Dell laptop, even though you can use just about any laptop that has a USB-C. To hook this up, I'm just gonna be using this Dell computer as a demo. We're just gonna be plugging in the USB-C right here. And if you have an Apple computer, again, you can plug in the power supply right there to power up the computer. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the dongle for the keyboard and mouse right here. And to show you that it can transfer photos, we're gonna go ahead and plug in this memory card. The final step is to take the HDMI and go ahead and plug it right here into the port. And as soon as I load up the computer, it will start displaying on this monitor. Now all you have to do is just go ahead and power up your laptop and then the Windows drivers or the Apple drivers should find that second monitor automatic. As you can see, there's the mouse on the screen. I can go here and type in stuff with the keyboard. That works fine. And I can also open up the memory card right here that I showed you guys earlier. So here's some files I'll put on it. I can also drag it over to the other screen. So that's pretty much the productivity that you can get out of this adapter with your computer. And after doing some tests, it's gonna work fine for your Excel documents, watching YouTube, anything that runs up to 60 hertz, this adapter works great. Now, the next thing we'll talk about is Samsung DeX. Unlike a lot of phones, they don't have any kind of additional software. On the bottom, you're only gonna find a charger port. So Samsung has wired this up. When you plug it in with a certain cable, it becomes a desktop computer. So you can use a keyboard and mouse and control your interface from this device. Now, the great thing about that, if you're a person who doesn't have a computer and you solely use your cell phone, you can set up a monitor and adapter, and when you get home, plug it in, then it becomes a workstation for checking your emails, watching videos, or anything that you need to do. So, let me go ahead and show you guys how to hook it up using what we already have set up. So, all we need to do, if you have a supported Samsung device, keep in mind it only works on some of the newer S series, it will not work on the A series. So we're just gonna take the USB there and then plug it right here. Next, I'm gonna put in the power supply so we can have some energy and plug this into the wall. And it's working fine. You can see the little charger indicator right there in the corner. As soon as I plug the Samsung phone into the monitor, it popped right up, but let's take a closer look at it. So once everything's plugged in, you now have a mouse on the screen. You might not be able to tell too much from the picture here, but I can go here and surf the internet. I can use the keyboard do anything I like there. Also, you can go over here to the side and you have access to all your applications like the camera, 
as well as the clock. So if you want to set up alarm, you can do it right here from the screen. So this gives you a lot of flexibility uh, as far as being able to have like some type of workstation that uh, you can use your phone for. So it's not available on every single phone, but it is available for most of the newer models that are on the market. Another thing I want to show you guys is if you look at the bottom of the screen here, you have the USB connection right here. I can go ahead and open it and then I can click on video and I can look at the videos that are on their memory card, which is pretty cool. And you can do the same for photos as well as music. I will tell you that an adapter like this is giving you so much flexibility and versatility out of your products, whether you have a PC or Mac or even a Samsung that supports that DeX software, you're really gonna enjoy the fact that you can use more of the features and the products that you already purchased. Now this adapter retails for only $50. And if you're interested, I'll leave all the links that you need to get one in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot, O-Ray. And I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace. Thank you.